Hi, I'm Olivia from Wilkinson Cameras and today we've got a camera that a lot of people have been waiting for, the Fujifilm X106. This is the next in line for the X100V and will in fact replace the X100V. It's a premium compact camera with a 40 megapixel APS-C size sensor and a 23mm f2 prime lens. It's also got 6 stops of image stabilisation and can shoot up to 6.2K video and now has advanced autofocus tracking as well. It stays true to the Fujifilm X100 series with the classic film camera look, rangefinder style optical hybrid viewfinder and control dials and of course features the Fujifilm film sims. This is everything you want from a classic film camera and everything you'd expect in a modern high-end digital camera. Ella and I are going to photograph a bit of everything today, including portraiture, street, architecture and low light. I'm also hoping to head to the Lake District over the weekend, weather dependent of course, to test it for more nature and landscape style shots. This is a really versatile travel and lifestyle camera, the kind of thing that I'd want to take everywhere with me, uh, so that's pretty much what I'm going to do. <laughs> First things first, I love the design, the size, the button layout and how uh, tactile it is, the customizable capabilities, the video specs and the fact it now has IBIS. Not forgetting the film simulations of course and that massive new sensor which is the same as the one in the X-T5 and X-H2 mirrorless cameras. Fujifilm have really pushed the boat out with this model. This camera is essentially a digital film camera and I absolutely love that. The heart of the X100 series is still there and if I hold it up to the camera, it pretty much looks like the original and is pretty much identical to the V. So pretty much everything that makes this camera so special is there, but now with even more to love. It's the perfect compact camera for content creators, street, travel, portrait photographers and pretty much any creator that really wants a well specced enjoyable to use camera that can go everywhere with you. So let's get into the real details and see what's new and what carries over from the previous models. As you can see the design and size is almost identical to the V. The X106 is actually a couple of millimeters deeper in order to house the new in-body stabilisation, but great news, we've been assured that your existing X100V case will still fit. As will any other accessories, including the wide and telephoto conversion lenses, lens hoods, spare batteries and weather resistant kits. And you will need this kit if you want to use this camera in all weathers, of course. I doubt you'll even notice that it's a little bit deeper and at just 43 grams heavier, Anyone upgrading from previous models is going to feel very comfortable with this new one. Design wise, there's very little difference to the top plate and something I enjoy is the shutter ISO dial on the top. It's very tactile and I enjoy the pull up feature to change the ISO. Same as its predecessor, it has a tilting touchscreen on the back, but this now tilts to 45 degrees rather than 30, and this just adds some extra usability, especially for high up or low down shots. On the right side, you'll find a small Q button taking you to the quick menu, where you'll find most of the go-to settings you'll need. This is fully customizable in menu as well. On the same side, it has a 3.5mm input, a USB-C port for charging, and a micro HDMI port. On the other side, there's a switch to change between manual, continuous, and single autofocus shooting. It also takes an MPW126S battery and a UHS-1 SD card slot, the same as the V. It features the same hybrid viewfinder as previous models with the optical viewfinder, OLED electronic viewfinder and the electronic rangefinder or ERF which is a feature well loved in the X100 and X Pro series. The ERF function is a picture in picture, it's true optical viewfinder with a small electronic image preview in the bottom corner which can be switched. The optical viewfinder itself is a hybrid display with digital camera settings information and framing guide overlaid. Or of course a standard electronic viewfinder. To flip between the three modes there's a toggle on the front that if you pull right switches between OVF and EVF and if you push it left then the ERF is switched on and off. Pressing the button on the same switch 
that one. <laughs> also it allows you to customize the settings on the control ring on the lens, which I found great use so far and I'm sure I will be using that a lot today. This camera also has the same fixed 23mm f2 lens as found on the X100V. If you've already got one of the older X100 cameras, then this lens was completely redesigned for the X100V to make it sharper edge to edge and better at close focus. So whilst it's still the 23mm f2 lens, it's vastly improved on the V and the 6 from the models before. The 23mm uh, lens is the same viewing angle as a 35mm full frame or 35mm film camera. It's a perfect focal length for this type of camera. The f2 aperture means good low light performance and gorgeous bokeh as well. With all the other manual control options, of course, there's an aperture ring on the lens. This is really simple to use despite the lens being very compact in size. Thanks to these little raised sections here, you can quite easily maneuver the aperture ring. You'll also see a little control wheel here. Like I mentioned earlier, you can customize this with the button on the front here. By default, it's set to digital teleconverter, but today I think I'm going to use it for film simulations. So we'll see how we get on. But new to the six is the 40 megapixel sensor and the X processor five, both already found in the Fujifilm X-T5 and X-H2. So we know it's going to be good. These combined will make the autofocus incredibly fast and accurate. More on this later on. With the fifth generation sensor and processor, this has massively improved the standard ISO sensitivity of ISO 125, the amazingly fast electronic shutter, added subject detection, and an updated autofocus algorithm. For those that own or know how good the subject detection and AF is in the X-T5 and X H2, then you'll know how effective it is in this camera. Tracking humans, I also focus, even animal and vehicle recognition is really very impressive. And to find all of this in this tiny little camera is remarkable. Combine this with the ability to shoot up to 13 frames per second versus MOS means that you'll never miss an important moment. You also have the ability to shoot 20 frames per second on electronic shutter, but this feature does apply a crop. The high res 40.2 megapixel sensor means superb detail in images and the ability to crop in. Fujifilm have built this feature into the camera with the built-in 1.4 times and 2 times teleconverters. This is set to the control ring on the lens by default, so you can just twist this and zoom in, despite it being a fixed lens. The lens has also been fully tested alongside this higher resolution sensor and it's more than capable of producing really detailed sharp images, even shooting wide open. Also new to the six is the six stop in-body image stabilization. Considering the size of the camera, it has only changed the tiniest amount. It's really incredible to believe they fit <laughs> Ibis in this tiny little camera. This is going to give you better stabilization for videos and stills and will make low light shooting so much more practical. I've already touched on this camera being a digital film camera and the Fujifilm film simulations really add to this experience. Fujifilm have added their latest simulation Riala Ace bringing the total number up to 20. They recreate classic films and offer a range of different looks in camera, should I say. The more you use the X106, the more you'll start to learn where and when it's best to use certain film simulations, which I love because it adds that extra creative thought process to your compositions and images. If you're not sure, then you can also use the bracketing feature accessed by the drive menu here. Here you can set three film simulations to be shot at the same time. One photo, three different looks. Of course, you can also apply these in post-processing when shooting in RAW, either in camera or in Lightroom. But really, I think this takes the fun out of using this, this particular camera. The fun comes from shooting with these film looks already applied. As I mentioned earlier, you can change the custom ring on the lens and one setting allows you to flip between different film simulations. This is great for when you are on the go and faced with many different photography genres and styles. I love this feature. 
For video, there's up to 6.2 30p in 422 10-bit internal recording. This is crazy for a camera of this size, but it does apply a 1.25 crop, so do bear this in mind. It also shoots up to 4K 60p and full HD 240p for super slow motion. As with the V, this 6 also features an internal ND filter for stops, which can be used for both stills and video. This is so useful for video, particularly video, and filming wide open. It now supports touch tracking AF for video. I use this all the time when I'm behind the camera for our review videos. The X100 is traditionally a stills camera, but more and more creators are making video content now. And it makes sense to add in high-end video features alongside the core features of this camera. As a content creator, I obviously love this. The X106 is launching at 1599, which I think is a very reasonable price for all the improved features this camera has. If you want a premium camera that is extremely versatile, feature rich, and above all, enjoyable to use, and that you can truly take with you everywhere you go, I'm not sure if there's a better camera. Everyone that has seen this camera back at HQ has immediately wanted one. I'm certainly missing a camera like this in my personal kit, so best believe I will be placing an order myself. I've enjoyed everything this camera has to offer, how small and subtle it is, you can get away with anything with this camera. It's not intimidating, it's not complicated, it's not big and bulky. I thoroughly enjoy using this camera. They go on sale on the 28th of February. I'll pop a link in the description box below where you can place an order. If you're in the UK and I've convinced you to buy the X106, then please buy it from us. Remember that we also offer part exchange, so if you're trading in your old X100 camera, make sure to get in touch for a quote. And that is the brand new Fujifilm X106. What do we think? Is it the upgrade you desperately wanted? Is there anything missing? Let us know in the comments below. And also please don't forget to like, subscribe and click the bell icon to be notified every time we upload a video. Thanks for watching.